Black Ice is a new documentary that looks at systemic racism in Canada's beloved sport of hockey. Have a look. I was definitely the only person of color on both sides. Parents would say crazy things in the stands. That was an altering point, not in my hockey career, in my life. There was no one there to support me. So it hockey features players like P.K. Subban and Sarah Nurse and Oscar and Emmy-nominated director Hubert Davis is here to talk about the film. Welcome to your morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know, people may recognize you from your last doc, which was on Giants of Africa. Why did you want to take a look at hockey? Well, I think hockey's unique in that it's so kind of... Um, integral to, you know, Canadian culture. So it's so intertwined. And I thought if we could look at some of the issues, systemic issues that are going in hockey, <clears throat> we could also look at what is going on in our country. A major part of the story is the history of black mm -hmm. Canadian hockey players. What was the most surprising thing that you learned while putting this together? I think the most surprising thing for me is um, this idea that hockey and the black experience has actually been tied together since the beginning of hockey. Hmm. And I thought that was so interesting, something like the Colored Hockey League I'd never heard of right. um, growing up, and I grew up in Canada. Why do you think we'd never heard of it before, given that hockey is so integral to Canadian culture? I think what we find in the black experience, it's often on the margins of history. So we can look at something, but we don't always get to see the black people who contributed to those stories because it's really not part of the narrative of, of our country and I think just now we're actually able to like dig up some of those stories and get them out there. We're used to seeing uh, stories of racism when they hit national headlines or local headlines. Typically this will happen at the NHL level or at the game level. You take a look at something called locker racism. What is that? Well I try and look at stories that were happening to kids when they were quite young and I think that's what happens right. Some of these stories are you're literally like 10 years old when the first incident happens and I think what happens is they kind of go into these experiences and they love hockey, you know, their parents have got them into it, it's, it's such a big thing for them, and then something happens and they start to question their place in it, like, does everyone feel this way about me? Did, they didn't even realize that people saw them differently than they saw themselves. So that internal part of it, I think, is really, really important because people kind of carry that on with them. And is it coming from coaches, teammates? Uh, all of the above. So in all the stories we found, sometimes it was other players, sometimes it was a coach, sometimes it was parents of other uh, kids. Um, so there was always an incident that happened. And the main thing that really stood out for me is this idea of a lack of accountability. That for... comes through loud and clear. Why is that? We have the awareness. Why? Where's the accountability? Well, I think it's that we, it's very uncomfortable for people to deal with incidents that happen, right? It's, there's a bit of a shock and then there's this kind of idea that, well, if we just kind of keep moving on and kind of ignore it, right? And, and part of that is the systemic part of, of racism, why it doesn't go away, right? Is, is we don't want to really address it or where it's coming from and just try and move on. But that ultimately doesn't solve anything. You are increasing awareness by doing a documentary like this. What are you hoping is the takeaway? Well, I think there's, it's twofold. I hope that part of it is we understand the black experience is integral to the Canadian experience. It's always been here. There's a deep, deep history of it. Uh, and then the second part is awareness of these issues. So we can't just say it doesn't exist or try and move on, but how do we actually uh, confront it, recognize it, understand it and say, okay, if we want to do something about it, then we have to change it at a bigger level, not just on an individual basis. I imagine that the overarching umbrellas of Pee Wee and Junior and you know amateur league hockey want to start addressing it. At least I hope so. Where do you think that they can start? Well, I think it starts with conversation, right? Like dialogue is a kind of our biggest weapon, right? Is I think silence is the, is the killer for things like this because if the players, you know, don't want to talk about the incidents that are happening to them, organizations obviously don't want to talk about it because right. they have to be responsible and accountable for that. So I think dialogue conversation is the crucial part and some people don't want to have that, but I think it's really other people that I've met in making the film really do. Like they really want to see the change and so they are are kind of our biggest allies, I think, to, to try and start the conversation. Your film premiered at TIFF this past fall. You got to walk the red carpet with your family. Uh, what was that like for you to not only be there with your family, there they are there, oh, they're beautiful. Um, what was it like for you to finally bring all these players together in one space at the same time? That was one of my favorite moments from this whole experience is getting to celebrate them, for them to be seen. You know, obviously, you know, you have people like Sarah Nurse, who's a, you know, gold medalist, you know, yeah. P.K. Subban, these are all, but also the, uh, the other 
other players, you know, the other players who have made it to the highest level. And they all came forward and they really came forward to want to make change for, for younger people. So it was, uh, it was an amazing experience to see them all together and just get that. Hey, it's a great documentary. I want to thank you for coming on your morning. Uh, Black Ice is screaming right now on Crave and at tsn.ca. Hubert, thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.